Well, it's the Democrats' Hail Mary pass, throwing Obama on the campaign trail and, of course, getting Hollywood celebrities involved. He's in Nevada tonight with John Legend. Let's bring in PragerU personality, uh, Mala Epinovi. Thank you for joining us. So very quickly, let's touch on this a little bit. Celebrities and Obama, it tends to work. Where's Biden in all this mess? Uh, I have a feeling they left him out because he's not as charismatic as Barack Obama and he's not really a kind face that people are taking to in this moment in time when it comes to elections. Obama's great with words, he's great with style, he's very charismatic, and of course a celebrity doesn't help, doesn't really hurt uh, your, your case either. Yeah. Um, will it move, to, uh, let's, let's take for example Fetterman uh, versus Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania, Obama went out there, Biden went there and, and it, it doesn't work well for them. Will this matter? Is it too little, too late? We called it a Hail Mary. We're, we're seven days away. You know, I think there are a few people that Obama's presence can sway just because they have such a, a near and dear feeling and affection for him. But I have a feeling it's not going to change what people are seeing in their own communities. The economy is pretty much devastated. We're dealing with gun violence. We're dealing with problems in our schools and in our public institutions, corporations and diversity trainings. And this is what people are concerned about. They're concerned about what's going to affect their day to day, not necessarily a kind face that they're familiar with. Kamala, you, you had mentioned to our producers that you, you wanted to weigh in on, on this whole Atlantic article where at, at this hour, after two years plus of, of insane lockdowns and whatnots and, and treating you know, anyone who disagreed with them as some sort of heretics, um, now they want to they call a truce again, let's point out, without an apology first. What are your thoughts on that? It's just unbelievable to me that The Atlantic would publish an article like this. And again, they're calling for pandemic amnesty. Let's just forgive everything we did to you for the past two years, taking your kids out of school, locking down the economy, calling you incompassionate, accusing you of being grandma killers, not allowing you to hold funerals for your loved ones. I mean, we're talking a long laundry list of transgressions against the American people. And to just sweep that underneath the rug without any form of accountability, taking responsibility for their actions and how it's affected the American American people, they instead call for forgiveness and amnesty. And I honestly do not think Americans are going to forget it. And hopefully they show up during this election cycle to show that they haven't forgotten what's happening. That happened. is a great point. I agree with you. I mean, earlier in the show, I said, you know what, just apologize and we'll shake and, and, and ha you know, move on, and maybe reunite the country. But I think you're right, Amal. I think let's get through this election cycle first. Let's get the red wave yeah. in, in place <laughs> and then let's talk about an apology and a handshake. Right. Let's see what happens there first, and then we can decide where we're going to go moving <laughs> forward. I completely we might, agree. We might change our mind if the red wave is exactly <laughs> right. We might change our mind about that, <laughs> that that handshake after the apology. Um, final thought on, on you know, and, and I, I bring it on because the Prager people are just so so smart. I think Candace Owens is is still. I think she's at, at Prager as well. Can you just weigh in on this whole Candace and and, and Kanye and the pushback that they're getting uh, from some of the communities? Where, where do you stand on this? Yeah, I think you can call out Kanye for his comments and what he said. Uh, Dennis Prager published today that he believes what Kanye said was anti-Semitic. But it's another thing to place Candace in this moment of blame simply for what? Association? I think it's a sign of the times when it comes to not only uh, this generation's misguided views on ideology, but also this cancel culture infestation that we've now garnered in our society where being friends with somebody or being near somebody is a crime in today's day and age. I think you can call out a friend and say they've made a mistake, but they are still a friend to me. And I think we need to learn to do that as a society. And, and right now, particularly with young people, we're seemingly incapable of doing that. Yeah. And the left seems to be incapable of, of, of doing it as well, of, of be giving mm -hmm. anyone else a break. If, if you've ever spoken a word against what they what their beliefs are. I'm all, um, before we let you go, take that wide shot of a mile again. There are two things. I, I'll go down a dark alley with people who are who are mean and thugs, and, and I'll risk getting beat up. And, and just I'll do my thing. Mm -hmm. There are two things I'm scared of in life. Number one are clowns. I don't know why it's clowns. Number two are dolls <laughs> that look like me. I, what's going on over screen right your left shoulder there? <laughs> You know, I had an amazing 14-year-old fan of the show who decided to make this replica of me. <laughs> and I have gotten many a comment of people who are terrified by it. But I must say, she's a very endearing 14-year-old, and I don't think there's any sort of voodoo happening here. Well, it doesn't <laughs> scare me any less. They were just cro they were, they were cropping that shot just a second ago. Control, take that shot. Crop that shot you had there. Let's, let's go. I'm sorry. Clowns and that right now are scared the heck out of me. Mala, really good meeting you. Good having you on for the first time. We'll bring you back again soon. Thank you.
Thank you so much. All right, up next, uh-oh, what makes my blood pressure go? Well, the next stories are, it's a new segment I came up with. Stick around.